I'm just going to be answering a common question that I get. And that question is if you can make bikinis or specifically seamless reversible bikinis without a serger. And the answer to that is yes. And today I'm going to be showing you the method that I would use if I didn't have a serger. I definitely think that the serger is much more efficient and faster, but I think this is a great option for someone that doesn't have a serger or doesn't want to commit to one right now. In order to do this method, you will need a sewing machine that has stretch stitches available, specifically this stretch stitch right here, number 24. As you could see, it's very similar to a serger stitch. And what's really important about this stitch is that it is a straight line on both sides. So that's what gives it that clean seam. So I have these scrap pieces of fabric here and I'm just going to show you on one of them um, what it would look like if I serge with elastic attached, which is what I normally do in videos. And then I'm going to use the method without the serger with elastic attached as well. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So before we get started sewing these pieces together, I wanted to go ahead and go over the settings. First and foremost, I have the stitch that I'm using selected. I have my width set at 5 just because I want it to be able to cover the elastic completely. And then I have my tension set at 3. Also I have my polyester thread here. You could use polyester or wooly nylon, my swimsuit fabric, and my clear elastic. I use clear elastic when making my bikinis, but you could also use a rubber elastic. And now we'll go ahead and get right into it. So I have my two pieces of fabric here and I'm going to make sure right sides are facing just like if I was making a regular bikini. And before we get started, always keep in mind that a serger does cut off a little bit of fabric. I believe it's about an eighth of an inch. So we're gonna kind of mimic that in a way by just staying a little bit further from the edge and we'll just cut off the excess at the end. So we'll go ahead and get started. You're going to place the elastic directly on top and then you're going to stitch on top of it. So just like this, and you're going to put it in the sewing machine and just stitch all the way down. So I just finished sewing my scrap pieces with that stretch stitch that I told you about, and now I'm just going to cut off the excess fabric. Remember, the serger usually only cuts off about an eighth, but I went over a little bit. Just wanted to mention that. And I did go ahead and serge the other one with the elastic attached. I didn't show you guys that process because I'm always using that process in my videos and I really wanted to focus on the alternative today. But I just wanted to compare the two. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is the serger with the elastic attached. This is what the other method looks like. As you can see, there's not really a huge difference. I think that they both look really nice and they both stretch. One thing I noticed is that this does get a little bit bunched, but I don't think that that's going to make a huge difference. Just wanted to point it out. And this is what the other side looks like. So if you don't have a serger, you could always just replace that with this stretch stitch on the sewing machine. You can use other stretch stitches as well, but I just think that this one is the best and gives the best clean look, especially when you open it up for a reversible piece. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.